Hey, greetings everyone. This is Tony Hollowitz. And in this video, I want to talk to you about some of the settings in Microsoft Outlook when you're looking at email and some of the views you can choose and select. So let me hop right into this. When I look at Microsoft Outlook, one of the first things I notice is right here, there's very little space. So there's a little bar right here. When I put my pointer on it, I get a two headed arrow. If I click and hold and drag way out to the right, you'll see that all of a sudden there's some column headings that I can select from. I'm going to move all the way back to the left, make it as small as possible just to illustrate the difference. So one of the first things I do is I will make this wider. But before I show you that and look at that a little bit more, what I want to do is next go up and click on view up on the ribbon above the ribbon. And I want to show you that over here on the right, there's something called the reading pane. And if I click on this drop down, I can choose which reading pane option I want. So right now it's on the right, but I'm going to put it at the bottom. So now it's at the bottom and I see all my emails here. When I come up top, one of the things you'll notice is that there is more than one line here. And there's all kinds of little settings you can do to make this size be slightly different. So for example, the message preview. How many lines of the message do I want to see? Right now it's selected one line. Do I want to choose three lines? And do I want to change it for just this folder or all folders? Right now we have minimal folders, but I'm going to say just this folder. So now we see more information. Now me personally, that's over the top. That's overkill. I don't like to see that. My preference is not necessarily to have things down at the bottom, but I like to have things at the right sometimes, but it can vary. So right now, I'm going to leave it at the bottom, and I'm going to go back up to the message preview, and I'm going to just choose off. I'm going to say this folder, and this folder is just the inbox. And now look at how much more concise that looks. It's specific and to the point. I can see who it's from. I can see the subject, when it was received, the size, which to me is irrelevant, categories and mentions. So on that note, if there are things here that I want to change around, for example, received, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to hold and I'm just going to drag it all the way over. I'm sort of following this line and I'm dragging it over and I'm releasing it. Now the received is right here. These column headings, much like Excel, I can make bigger or smaller. So all these emails have come from me to myself, but here's the subject line. The size, I don't even need that. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to just drag it up off the screen. Categories, don't need that. Mention, don't need that. I just don't even really care about that stuff. And now I can come focus over here. So there's some different icons here. Here's the attachment icon. But what I've done is I've just broken this up a little bit to make it look a little bit easier on the eye, in my opinion. So when you have columns like this, just like Microsoft Excel, you'll notice that if I click on the column heading, I can sort things alphabetically based on clicking on that heading. So for example, if I click on subject, it's going to reverse or sort all these by the subject. It's A to Z. If I click on it a second time, it will reverse the sort order. Now, what I want you to observe is when I did this, the setting or the way this looks came out differently. And what I'm going to do at this point is I don't want these spaces here. I don't want them all broken down. So I'm going to click on this drop down right here and where it says show in groups, I'm going to click on that to take it off. Okay. And really to me, this look is the most concise way to see what I want to see. If I bring the pointer back up here and right click on the column heading, I can come down here and do what's called field chooser. And there's all kinds of different fields you can choose from right here. Now, to be honest with you, it's rare when I really get into this stuff. I usually just work with what I already have, but you can add things. These are frequently used fields. I'm going to go all mail fields and you can come down here and see what it is you want to see. So I just urge you to go look at this. Sometimes things like this might not be important today, but as you get to know the software a little bit better, it becomes more important to you. So I'm going to close this for now. So I have the reading pane, but there's also the folder pane, which I'm going to click on this drop down, And now it's normal. 
if I click off, it just closes that folder pane that was over here on the left. Now, I don't recommend that because I like to see the folders. So I'm going to click on folder pane and I'm going to click normal to have it right there. Now, this folder pane, which lists most of my folders, which I haven't gotten into with you yet, over here on the left, if I want to shrink this down, I can click on this little arrow here and minimize it in. If I want to bring it out, I can bring it out. Okay. If I want it to stay out, I can pin it so it stays out there. And generally, as a rule of thumb, I always want to have that out there because this is sort of where I see what my inbox is, what I've sent, things that are deleted. And just I can quickly get into information here based on this. Think of it as a filing cabinet where my information goes. The inbox is obviously something I want to see. So when I have this look, the next step is I'm going to go back to the home key or home tab, I should say. And right here, now I have some other options that I can look at. And I take that back. It's not on this tab. I'm going to go back to the view tab. And where is it under the message? Oh, I'm sorry. This is it right here, the tighter spacing. I'm going to click on this. And basically, I clicked on this and it added more spacing between the emails. If I click on this and go use tighter spacing, it shrinks it up a little bit. The to-do bar, remember I said earlier in a previous tutorial, I rarely do to-dos. Well, I'm going to click on the to-do bar and I'm going to say, what do I want to see? Do I want to see my calendar? Do I want to see people or tasks? Let's say I want to see people in my address. I'm going to click on this and now over here is where I'd find people that I'm looking for in my address box. So let's go back there and choose the calendar. Now I can see the calendar and I'll see what's on my schedule. So instead of having to look at the calendar, I can see it over here in a preview. Again, I have this little gray bar so I can make this bigger if I want to. So this is the thing. What I like and what you like might be completely different. There's not a right way or wrong way, but generally when I start helping people with Microsoft Outlook, when I first look at their outlook, I find that things are different sometimes. And it takes me a minute to adjust the way they have things set up compared to the way I have things set up and the way I use them. It's a minor adjustment, but it's just something that when you're looking at the view of your inbox or any of your folders, this is something you want to concern yourself with and think about. So you have some options here. Not right option, not wrong option. It's whatever works for you. Come in and visit it every once in a while. What you thought you liked today, you might find you didn't like tomorrow. But that's okay. You have options. Okay, my friends, I just wanted to show you some of the views you could have in Microsoft Outlook. So if what you're looking at in your Outlook and what you're seeing in mine look different, this is probably why. Okay, be well. Bye now.